Welcome back to the morning show here on Arise News. I'm Biola Labi, and with me this morning is, is Victoria. Victoria. So this is based on a mission to equip teens with the necessary skills required to set up business. The CEO Apprentice Booth Camps uses the latest technology and training to teach young entrepreneurs how to come up with a business idea, structure their company, and analyze and understand the various go-to market strategies. Joining us today from the Business Day team to share more on the program, which launches this week, is Linda Ochuba. Welcome to the morning show, Linda. Thank How are you? So you? Much. I'm very well, thank you. So one of the things that um, we've been hearing, and one of the biggest things that our data shows us, I mean, we were talking about data points yesterday with the, um, with the Nigerian bureaus of statistics, and we know that the rate of unemployment in Nigeria continues to rise. There's, I mean, last figures were 7 million or something. There's underemployment, but then youth unemployment is one of the biggest crises that we face. And the fact that the median age of Nigeria is 18. So when you think about what you guys are doing and trying to empower young people with entrepreneurship skills, where do you see a program like this fitting into creating jobs for the future? Thank you very much for the question. So we started this three years ago just because of this idea. We wanted to find a way of equipping and empowering young ones just to have a mindset. So we believe that we can change them from the mind and then we can actually teach them the right things that they need to know so that when they come out of school, they don't actually have to start looking for jobs and then you know, sending their CVs. We actually believe that if we start training them now at 15, at 25, they probably already have 10 years experience in whatever business idea that they have. So we thought to ourselves, how do we go about this? So we said, okay, let's have a platform where you can register. Now the criteria to register is you need to have a good business idea, whatever it is. It might sound funny or might sound unrealistic, mm. but we want to see how we can actually help you shaping that into something that would actually be a business. So when you register, you send us your name, your number and your idea, and then we select randomly across Nigeria. We have some people this year coming in from Ogun State, Ibadan, from oh, Abuja. Yeah. So we have people send their kids for one week just for this program. Now when they get on the program, we talk to them like we're talking to young adults. Mm -hmm. And then we bring mentors also in that area to actually oh, teach them. You but work with about 50 young people yes, yes. every year. Um, do you monitor them after? Yes. And how many of them have gone on to put those ideas to success and helping other people and putting some money in their pockets as well? Um, so last year, we had about two of them. And some of the mentors and um, business experts actually decided to invest in one of the business. Mm. He felt that, oh, I think this is really good. So let's invest in it and then let's, let's see how it grows. So we get feedback from them. And the feedback is really amazing. We have some young people send us thank you cards and their parents calling us to say, you, haven't, you have no idea what you've done for our kids. This was absolutely not how they entered into this competition. Uh, They've come out uh -huh. with brighter ideas. They are more... They are more equipped, their presentation skills, they are more composed, their maturity is amazing. You know, so the feedback is always really good. So from last year, we have two of them. Um, some of the mentors actually invested in them. We actually do what's called like a follow-up. So when you have, when you finish, some of these mentors take them in as interns during holidays mm. also. So you can actually go back again, learn from. So if it's technology, you can actually learn technology during holiday again for another three months with your mentor. They teach you how to create the app, how to promote it, how to market it. So we just don't leave them. So you match people also with mentors during the program? Yes, we do. Okay. Mm -hmm. I wanted to ask you a question of what you said, which is that parents come back to you and say the kids are not the same as the way they entered the program. Yes. When kids apply for the program, do they actually, in the application, they tell you what they want to do? Do they change that over the course of the week? Yes, we've seen Yes, we've seen that happen <laughs> on the line. Yes, so someone comes and says, I have this idea. And then he meets other, other like friends. Like-minded people. Like-minded people. And then there's a switch. But well, it's always a good switch, actually. Mm. So he's saying, oh, I don't think this idea is really, really profitable in Nigeria. So why don't I join this group that have a profitable idea and the less? So they always have different ideas. So you have someone who's really good in presentation. You have someone who's really good in using the system. You have someone who's really good in creating the app. So it's always a synergy of seven different kids coming together. I mean, that's to such an amazing things. skill you're teaching kids so young, this team, building teams and really working in teams. Mm -hmm. How have you seen this program over the last three years actually emerge? Like, when, when do you, where do you see it going, number one? But how have you seen it emerge as a real life skill tool for kids? 
So we're actually dreaming and hoping that it will go bigger. For us, we're hoping that we can take this to different regions. You've already made all the mistakes you need to make. You've already learned all that you need to learn. You're an expert at 25. Mm -hmm. So that's the dream for us that it actually goes across Africa. And also these skills, I mean, not just you're not just developing them for them to go, go start a business. Sometimes these people can end up being in a company and making significant contributions. So it's not just only that, oh, now you can have you have these skills, just go start a business. Part of it is you can work in a big corporation and also still make a difference. Definitely. We actually had some of them come work with us last year as intern. And so we, we get to also train them. Now, the, the main issue for us or the main thing that we have in our mind is that we want to make them better. Yes. Mm. Yes. So when they come, so it's always funny when they come on the first day, you have so many shy kids. Some of them can't really talk. Some of them can't even present. But on the sixth day when we have the pitching competition, I'm shocked at their confidence. You know, it's amazing to see them grow in one week. So wow. we have the first four days. So nice. The first four days, we teach them stuff around, you know, creating a business idea, and we make it as practical as possible. And then on the fifth day, we take them out to see what it looks like. So this year, we're going to be taking them to the Olu Shegun Presidential Library. Interesting. And show them how, okay. you know, how his life, how he spent his life. Then we'll bring them back to the Nigerian Stock Exchange Market to wow. tell them, when you do grow big and you want to quote your company or you want to be a big company, wow. this is where your company will be quoted. This is where you sell shares. This is how you sell. We take them through that process for like an hour or two. And then on the final day, they get to tell us what they have learned. So you come out and then you have your group and then they all dress corporate and they are presenting all the skills that they have tell learned. Tell us about your partners, people that make this happen. I mean, how you, I'm, I mean I'm sure someone, someone has to help you guys make this happen. It's been awesome for the past two years and we've kind of consistently had the same partners, you know, who believe in the dream. Like and the mentors, the, I want to talk about the, the mentors. mentors. So we've had someone like Mr. Collins Onebu, who's the MD of Signal Alliance. We have Mr. Binga, who's also the MD of BFD Group. Mm -hmm. um, we have um, um, a Tommy Rotimian, Tomiwa. We've got a lot of people. And so these people come into the school, into the training every day? Yes. So we have different classes, as I said, from Monday to Thursday. And we have time to do so it. How long is the course for? For one week. One week. Just for one right. week. So from nine to five, each Ooh, of these that's speakers. That's a long day for kids. Yes. A very so long day. So how many hours do you work with them during the day? From nine to five. It's an intense But they take some break. big breaks. Of course, they'll have some. Long breaks. I mean. Of course, they'll have some breaks. So they have the first tea break in the morning. They have breakout sessions where they have to do something fun outside the whole right. series. So in creating ideas for the Nigerian market, the emerging market, and mm. the dynamic markets in Nigeria, how do you steer the children right? You said something about some people having ideas and saying, you know what, this is not for Nigeria. So how do you steer them into what our society needs? So when they come first on Monday with all the ideas, we sit down and we tell them to actually write it down. If you, don't, if you can't write it down, then it's not something that we can work mm. with. So we make them write it down. So they write it down as vague as they can. And then we say, OK, we create them into groups. And then we bring the speakers on board. So when the speakers come, the speakers tell them how they've been able to run their own business. Ah, so some so a I, lot of it is about role modeling as well. A lot of it's about mentorship and role modeling. So the so the MD, for instance, of Signal Alliance runs a very large technology company. They create apps, they create websites, they help market. So for those um, kids that want to talk about to create apps and also do business online, we put them in his group. Now he tells them, I think this can work. I think if you try to turn this around, so it basically it, gives advice. He gives um, advice. To them. Let me even put this out there: when when these children are being ment mentored, there's a saying out there that some people are born entrepreneurs, some others are not. Are you able to steer the people who don't seem like they have the ability in that direction? Are you able to teach or reorientate these children to learn the skill to become entrepreneurs? Because this is something that isn't taught in our schools. That's the basic thing. I said earlier something about mindset. Mm. If you don't have the mindset to think that you can actually start on and you know, kind of function a profitable business, then it will not work. So some of them come confident, like I'm sure this is what I want to do, me. very sure. And some of them come and they're not sure. So those kids that come and they're not sure, we try to find out what they have as skills or what they like to do. Mm. So, 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 I mean, I know we're wrapping up soon. I don't want to interrupt you. But I know parents are sitting there going, okay, 50 kids, 
why can't how do I get my kid in? Why can't I get my kid in? What do you have to say tell to parents before we um, we go off? So we've created a website called www.theceoapprenticeafrica.com.ng. So when they go there, they will have to register. So for they can the, still register now. Yes, I think I still have space for maybe like five kids. Okay, well, guys, there's five. There's space Only for five, five more kids. So make sure you get in there now. Well, that's not a lot, right. but so hey, can, yeah, hey, <laughs> that's five more. So I can still take okay. in five more kids. So when they register, they need to put their full name, their phone number, their email and then they also need to give us their idea okay. so I want to create an app that can do this or do that whatever it is and tell them you heard from Arise that Arise News told you there's five and I'll take spaces. them I'll take them once they tell me they're from Arise fantastic Linda uh, thank you so much we wish you all the best with the CEO you. Apprentice program this is the kind of stuff we need for youth empowerment youth development and really to spur the type of job creation and entrepreneurship we need in Nigeria thank you so much so for doing a greater job great well job. done thank you thank you Right. It's time now for a short break. When we return, we'll have multimedia journalist and producer Yemisi Adeguke joining us with a review of the top stories of today. Stay with us.